Summer 2024 update is finally here for Team Fortress 2. The update was about a week late, but with how much content is in this update, I believe it was worth the wait. Starting with maps, we got 10 new community maps. When I get to play on all of them for a decent amount of time, I'm planning to talk about them in more detail. But for now, from what I have seen, the maps look cool. Obviously, we have this summer 2024 cosmetic case with new unusual effects and four new towns. These new towns look really cool. The summer update will last until September 15th. There is about a month of time, so boot up the game and check out the maps yourself. Actually, before that, the update has more things in the patch notes. Let's get into actual meat of this update, which includes a lot of changes and bug fixes, including the new SV Cheats Exploiter. It took Valve only a couple of days to fix this exploiter. I definitely see a big improvement in how Valve is now more serious about maintaining the game. Since the SV Cheats exploit was a pretty big, pretty major thing, it was letting players have wall hacks without using any cheat software. The previous SV Cheats 1 exploit took 2 months to be fixed and was much easier to do. So really great news. Anyways, the patch notes do not end there. For a long time, people have been complaining about the custom decals. The cosmetics that were letting people put any image on them. Some people were going as far as to put really inappropriate images on their decals. As someone who streams Team Fortress 2 very often on Twitch, we would encounter many objectors with NSFW images on them. Now, they added a new setting in the advanced settings menu to disable custom decals. Thank you so much Valve, I will no longer be scared of getting banned on Twitch. Oh, did I say is I stream on Twitch? Make sure to follow me there. Next patch note, a weapon was buffed. Yes, Valve decided to buff, drumroll please, the gas passer. Now, if you cover enemies with gas, you can do critical damage using the neon annihilator. Apparently there was a bug that has been here for the past 7 years. Before this update, you couldn't do this. Now, Power has a similar combo to Jarata and Bushwhacker. This should allow new playstyles for Paros. I cannot wait for everyone to be using Gas Passer now. Wow, so great. A lot of maps got updated, but most importantly, some maps from the previous Simsmas updates were added back into the game. Yeah, yeah, we got even more maps in joy. The maps that were added are Harp, Frosty, Snow Tower, Drumford, and Hexaw. While these maps have snow on them, it didn't really make sense to only allow snowy maps on Smithmas. But obviously some people might be concerned about the fact that there are a lot of maps, so many maps in TF2 right now. I don't even know if we have enough people to fill all of these maps with. That is a topic for another day to talk about, does TF2 have too many maps? If you wanna hear about that, make sure to subscribe. Continuing with maps, some maps from the alternative game modes were moved up. These are 2 Fort Invasion and Probe. While these maps have a aesthetic of an alien invasion, it is kinda great to have them up here, I guess. So, more people will play them. I think it's kinda neat that now people will be able to play on two different kinds of 2 Fort. Choose your side. Are you a normal 2 Fort fan or a 2 Fort invasion enjoyer? These were the most important ones in the patch notes in my opinion, but there are also things like expanded vscripts board, change the clipping of the card and now it's jumpable, increase the fog distance and lower density, glass texture is now less green and more clear, and a lot of maps were updated. Lastly, we have the security and stability improvements patch note. That doesn't really tell us anything, but I believe this is an indirect way of saying, yeah, we kind of fixed the game, but it no longer exists. Normally, when an update like this is released, the bots would immediately join the newly added maps, but I haven't even seen a single one yet. Honestly, I'll be impressed if it continues like this.
Also, look what I got this morning. If you ever reported someone in TFT for reasons such as cheating, and if they get banned, you will get this message. This is the first every time I am seeing this. Looks like Valve is finally looking into people who are getting reported. So, if you ever find someone who's a cheater or a bot, make sure to report them. I'm guessing Valve is finally looking at these reports. Now, we have been talking about boycotting TF2 when this update dropped, but right now I'm kind of satisfied because when I was talking about boycotting, I thought we would have to fight for multiple months and didn't think Valve would immediately fix the game. Kinda. Time will tell if TF2 is actually fixed. I'm still gonna stick to what I said. For multiple years, Valve used to add seasonal updates to the game without addressing the bots first. I mean, we had the whole Save TF2 movement that Valve even responded to. But nothing really came out of it. Only later when people really pushed on with stuff like boycotting the game and review bombing on Steam did they start to care about it. If you think like me, we will be holding our wallets for a bit longer. I mean, in the later weeks of the update, bots may return. I hope they don't. But anyways, now go play Team Fortress 2 and enjoy the new maps. In the next video, I will talk about what I think about the maps. If you want to hear about that, make sure to subscribe. If you liked the video, leave a like and see you in the next video. Bye.